Hello and welcome to the Late Model Stock Fixed Series. We are here at North Wilkesboro. Just like the Arca car this week, we are here and uh, we are going to do some qualifying and I am going to be slow. <laughs> I mean, we're taking a, a track that I'm already clearly very uh, slow at uh, here at North Thanks Wilkesboro. The Arca race should have been a perfectly good indication of that. And then uh, we're taking a car that I'm usually not very fast in either here in the late model stock and so we uh we've got a combination here that's going to lead to me finishing probably pretty poorly but we'll give it our best either way see what happens looks like there's a little more speed in the track maybe and there was an open practice session i had at least one more lap that'll be about the best lap i've run Yeah, there's definitely more speed in the track than uh, than what I got used to. So probably underdriving it right now, but hey, at least it's a faster lap than I thought I was going to get. Second lap's even better. We're in the 623s. So right now that's P5. So all right, that's not totally terrible. Uh, we got a strong field here, 3.8k. Spank the field. If uh, if we need any any more reason for things to be tough on me, man, this track is much faster. I'm barely even trying, and I'm getting in the green a little bit. Likes to get a little bit loose on throttle, but this car is so grippy, you can kind of just deal with it. Although I think whenever you start getting sideways, you're scrubbing off speed, so probably good to keep it steady. When I was first doing laps, I thought maybe that higher line in 1 and 2 would be the way to go, but not so much. Though you could probably, uh, if you race the side by side, do something up here. Hold on or something. You get a good run out of the corner, but you just lose so much through the middle. I bet someone could probably just clear, clear you up there while you're up there. Ooh. Plus it doesn't help whenever it gets sideways like that. <laughs> Almost a tie for the, the pole there. Oh, but the four comes in at the last second and gets the pole by only two one thousandths of a second. So we're going to be P7. I think I'm happy with that. I think I want to be on the inside. But uh, I don't know if it's going to matter. We're probably going to be slow either way. And uh, well, we'll see what happens. We'll try to move forward. I think that's the plan for the race. See if we can finish better than where we started. But really, I'm just trying to get better. On the inside. Pit road um, is closed right now. I'm not great with North Wilkesboro or in this car, but the only way I'm ever going to get any better is by racing it more. So here we are. We expect to be fighting for the podium. <laughs> we expect to be fighting for the podium. Ah, that's a good one. All right, fast repairs ready. Don't need the tires. Just in case, we'll have that all ready to go. Fighting for the podium. Only if about six cars in front of me wreck out. Then maybe we'll get the top three. Depending on how many people behind me pass, but <laughs> I think their expectations for me are a little bit lofty. But 40 laps here should be a pretty quick event because let's see our, our fast laps are in the 18s here. Probably not going to dip below 20 seconds during the race, so not going to take too long. I don't think about 20 minute race probably. Follow car number zero of course, you already, already know the general car. idea, because you can see the length of this video. So. Looking like a second gear start. Everybody's going to start warming their tires up.
I wonder if it's good to get the uh, the brakes warmed up. Dragging those a little bit. I have no idea if that's a big deal or not in this car. One to go. Next time by. We'll see what we can do. Hopefully this inside start helps us out. About to go green. Better Stay get through the gears. Nice and quick. Green, green, green. Ooh, I short shifted by accident. Car outside. We're okay. Clear. They're all over the back end of us. Car outside. Stay low. There is a car on the high side. Clear. Eighth place. Car inside. Clear inside. That gets to our inside. We'll get a good run off. It looks like we'll be okay. Getting more turn through the mid corner than I'm used to. It's turning too much. Where that's come from, but interesting. Not a problem I expected to have. Somehow found our way to the outside line, which isn't great. Clear, car inside. That's gonna drive it in hard. Still make sure inside. we still can't make it down to the bottom. Still there, inside. Clear inside. Uh, I'm not sure what happened lines. there. Didn't feel like we touched very much. It felt like the softest tap, and yet that guy got spun. I have no idea. Guess we'll have to look at that later. It's not what I wanted. When we get some, we get a two X from that because we. Uh oh, they're wrecking. Car ahead. Go low. Oh, All right. All right. Somehow survived that. Ten is broken, maybe. He seems a little off pace and a little all over the place. Maybe not. Maybe they're just fighting side by side. Outside. Uh, all kinds of stacked up here. Guys diving it in. Even though he's not there. This is like Richmond where it's really easy for people to do that. Still inside. Still inside. I have no idea what's happening up ahead. It looked like the 10 got into the back of the guy ahead of him. I haven't used this high line in one and two. It's not working though. It's only gonna work so long. Who is sending it three wide? You freaking idiot. What moron did that? The one? Okay. Looked left to see if he was still there. I might have come down. Seven, the gap to Griffin in front is now 1.4. The lap 
<sighs> I don't know if I turned down or not. Probably, because I had to look down. I wasn't sure if he was there, because I don't know how he was there. We ended up three wide the corner before. to apologize to the one I'm thinking I probably because I was looking left turned down on the straightaway struggling I think I need to get on the brakes a little bit more through one and two. And it's getting so much more sideways. Slow car down low. Little car ahead. It's a lap car. He's got nowhere to hide here because. There's no apron here at North Wilkesboro, so we have to go around his outside. Clear. Okay, well. Okay, Colton. That looked Point intentional. Sure looks good. The captain, Griffin, ahead is now 2.7. The captain, Walden, behind is now 1.8 seconds. This has been an ugly race. By me and by some other people, too. We got a little less pressure behind all of a sudden. Let's see if we can hold on. We're just barely past halfway, and this race has been that much of a debacle. Fighting up ahead. They're over two seconds away, though. Fortunately, the one left, so I can't look at the replay and apologize if it was on me. But uh, he also put himself into a position three wide as well instead of being patient. Two, well, we took that risk. We'll look at it later. They are battling up ahead and we're getting a little bit closer, but not really too much. It keeps wanting to snap on exit on me and it's really annoying me here. Out of four. That'd be easier on the throttle, I guess. Cap two, Walden behind is now two point five seconds. They're getting away again all of a sudden ahead of us. Despite still being side by side.
But I think we're actually getting away from the guy behind, so there's that at least. This might be where we finish. Barring any additional wrecks. And we're at 6x. Got 10 left to go. All the short track racing recently is killing my safety rating. I mean, I'm still at A499, but it's not going to last for long if <laughs> all this keeps up. Oh my god. Just wants to drift out of four. Okay, Colton. That's good consistency. Keep it up. They've been side by side this whole race ahead of us, and we still can't catch them. Are we going to get any additional wrecks? Who's going to win this battle in front of us? That's another good question. Oh, it looks like the 10 actually is going to clear him. And they're back side by side. Of course they are. Cast off the head. Uh oh. This is less than optimal. Cast off the head. Go low. Float. Uh oh. Those are spots. Those are spots. Inside. Go around the outside of this guy. Or fail to do so. He's off pace though. Car out. That was a 19.5. Stay low. There is a car on the high right side. Right here. Clear up top. Never mind. This guy's off pace, but I still have to find a way around him. That lap time was 19.3. Try to get a run here, that's not gonna work. You've got two laps to go. I could be this guy even if you he's off pace. Flag. That means one more lap to go. D6, white flag, last lap. That lap was at 19.1. Yeah, I can't get around him anyway. That's okay. I'm still finishing better than what I thought I was going to a minute ago. P6. Sixth place. And there's the fifth. Good flag. Ticket flag. All right. Great job. You. you did really well. It was well. a crazy one there. Lots of contact. Good win, Tell the Thank you, buddy. I appreciate that. All right. 57.70. I wasn't thinking about tires at all, to be honest. Even though I, I probably should have. He was digging. I was gonna be a, a bitch. I didn't know what happened. Back here, you got dumped somebody. Clown fest. Damn, the 11 15 and the 12 15 race both with clown fest top split. Cool. Alright, we'll look at the incidents. At five. Oh, yeah, there's that. He just comes up and gets me. I mean, I got loose on the exit a little bit, but I was straight by the time he got to me. He just comes up and runs into me there. That wasn't really on us. Then he gets uh, dumped there by the six. That's what happened to the one initially.
couple more people caught up in that. And the 8 turns down into the 10. 10 drives them up. And then the 1 just decides that he's going to dive it in. Even though he wasn't there because he's in uh, wherever, 9th, and he's not supposed to be in 9th, so he's just got to drive through people to get there. I mean, what do you expect us to do? Here. We're driving into the corner. You're not there. We're going into the corner. So are we supposed to just turn right heading into a left-hand turn because you've decided you want to make it three wide? That's not how it works. The nine has to do that in order not to get hit. And so, of course, that's where I am. So not a great move. And that was net code. So you can cry about that, but... That was net code. I thought maybe I turned down on the straightaway, and I did a little bit, but you can see that's 100% net code. And I'm sure he didn't even bother looking at the uh, replay before blaming us. So, he'll note that, I guess. Probably cause problems later, despite the fact that that was not my fault. And uh, it's entirely his fault for putting himself in a dangerous situation in the first place by diving it in. So, never mind, I don't feel bad. I was going to send him a, a message if I turned down here. But uh, I didn't. Thankfully, I was feeling really guilty about that. And uh, that'll do it for that. Seven probably watching that. Drifts up the track, although the 9's a little bit low. So, I don't know, that seems... I mean, the 9 has to go low, though. He's got a wreck going on on his outside. So that seems like an unfortunate accident, except the 7 comes back later and just destroys the 9, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, because... We got some crybabies in this series, I guess. Like, wow, flipping the Monopoly board, and that apparently wasn't enough, so hopefully we never have to see this guy, or at least don't have to for a while, because he can't keep his emotions in check, and uh, that was an ugly race, oh, it's not over, okay, those guys were just pulling it in early, I guess, it's just a wall hit there. And the 6 is going to dump his second racer of the race. These guys really stink. I mean, I'm not good. I'm slow. But, I mean, you can see from both of our incidents, looking back, and tell me if I'm wrong, but I don't feel like I wrecked anybody this race. The first guy kind of just ran into my door, and the second one was netcode. The 6 is just dumping the 3 from second place. And the 5 has nowhere to go, and that's why we came up on these guys. Just horrible racing from the six. And that is it. So that will do it for an ugly race here at North Wilkesboro. We get sixth place and move forward, which is what I wanted to do, but I didn't want it to be so messy the whole, the whole way there. The 4 gets a 0x, probably it's just because he was in front of everything. And then the 8, 10, and 13 managed to keep it clean, but the rest of the field got uh, quite a bit. We'll see what our I rating changes are and uh, other information from the race. 38, 87 strength of field, believe it or not. We get 6th and lose 17 I rating. We're back below 5,600. Even with a 6X there and a couple of messy races recently, we're still 499, but like I said, I don't think that's going to last much longer if we keep uh, doing these short track races. But uh, we still finished ahead uh, better than what we probably should have with a couple of guys back there that were faster than us. 
but that will do it. So, a little bit ugly, but at least we accomplished one of my two goals. Finish ahead of where we started. Anyway, thanks for watching. I uh, hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next one. Have a good one.